What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys another video on how to overland on a budget. I know I've done a video like this in the past, but for today's video, I actually have a different branded tent and I actually have a different truck with me today. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys is what comes inside the box. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set it up onto this truck because it is a bed tent. And I'm also gonna be telling you guys the pros and the cons on this exact tent that I have here today. If you guys do end up wanting to purchase it, it's gonna be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and now get into the video and I'll show you guys how it's done. Let's do it. So for today's video, I have a Joy Tutu's bed tent. So it's awesome because I know I have done a video like this in the past on another different branded tent. And I also did it on my Tacoma. So the difference of today is it's a different tent. It's a different type of truck. So it's going to be a lot bigger. And this one actually has some stuff that I'm going to show you guys once we open it up and set it up. Another thing I did want to let you guys know, this Joy 22's brand actually makes fridges and I have a 15% off discount code on their fridges. So if you want to check that out, description box below, I've made videos on it and I've had it for probably about a year now and I like them. So I'm excited to try this out on this actual truck. Let's go ahead and now just pop it open and show you guys what's inside. Let's do it. It does come in a nice little package baggy like a travel bag for you guys so you want to save that because it is your travel bag and now i'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to set it up it's going to be pretty easy there's nothing really hard to this if you guys have watched that previous video of mine that i did on the right line one uh, you guys probably already know how to set this one up i'd say though this one's a lot better than that one you guys will see why later in the video when i tell you guys the pros and the cons on this thing so Let's jump to it. All right, you guys. So now that we uh, kind of showed you guys what comes in the box, super simple. All you want to do is just go ahead and kind of open it up and make sure you guys open it in the way where the door is, of course, on the tailgate. So the first step in this, you want to go ahead and just kind of locate the door like I was saying. Make sure you have that facing towards the tailgate. And then the next step you want to go ahead and do is just kind of spread it open just like I have here. You want to drape it over each side of the bed just like that. And then if you want to go ahead and follow me this way, I'm going to show you guys the next step. This is going to be on both sides, which is on this side and the other side of the bed. And it's also going to have this on the tailgate side. So you're going to notice there's three like little attachments like this. Two, three, and they're adjustable. So they're just going to hook right underneath your truck bed. So once you secure one side, we're going to move to the other side and do the same thing. On this side, it has the same type of little uh, latches. So make sure it's loose a little bit. And then... Uh, Put it underneath your bed. Every bed should have like a little attachment point. It doesn't really matter. It's just underneath the body of the bed. I'm noticing I didn't really tighten it down all the way. I'm just kind of putting it just slightly where the latches won't come off. The next thing you're going to see is right here in the front. And those, you just want to kind of attach those right to the bumper, maybe in this section here. That's just going to hold it from it flying over. Still a little bit loose, but that's fine. That's kind of what we want. So once you have everything done like this, you could go ahead and now tighten them down a little bit more. I wouldn't do it all the way. The reason why you still need to put your poles and if you tighten it super hard, then you're not gonna be able to bring up the tent. Uh, so now let's go ahead and get the poles and start with that. So our next step is gonna be uh, simple but tedious. So when you guys do get yours brand new, they're gonna come with a rubber band just kind of sealed together. And you're going to have, as far as the instructions, if you guys need to read them, you can. The first two should be the bigger ones, and that's going to be uh, labeled as A. And then you're going to get your second ones labeled as B. And then the smallest one is going to be, I believe, C. So basically, the A's are the ones you want to go ahead and grab first. And the reason why, these two are going to be the ones that actually do the X. So if you guys have ever set up a normal tent, you guys know how these uh, little poles work. You just go ahead and open them up, put them together, and it's super easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do this really quick, and then I'll show you guys the next step. Super easy, nothing too hard. We're going to do them like an X, so you want to start with one, and then you'll do the next one right after. So I'll put this on the floor for now. So coming right over here, you're going to notice right here, I'm going to use the pole as a stick like a guide so you're going to notice it goes as an x right here 
So one of these poles is going to go across that way and then the other pole will go across this way. So let me go ahead and uh, feed those through right now and then we'll do the next step. Once you have it kind of half and half, now you want to go ahead and get your second stick and do the same thing. Next thing you want to do, this is going to be your feet. This one is going to go straight across here. This one's the one that's going to bring up uh, where your door is. So we're going to insert B, of course. So that one's going to go inserted right here in the center. You're going to notice there's one there. And then the last one is going to be C, which is the smallest one out of all. And that one, if you come around this way, it's going to go right here. So you're going to notice there's like a little gold uh, opening right here. The gold opening, that's where you'll insert it. And then over here, you're probably not going to be able to see it on the camera. But on this one here, it's going to also have a gold opening. Let me try to get it out for you guys. So you're going to see there's a gold sleeve there. And that's where that's going to go in there. So it's going to look something similar to this. And then right here, you're going to have a little clip. Clips right in. So once you have it in this position here, now you just want to go ahead and start bringing everything up and setting it up into its uh, position and holes that are for it. So nothing hard about that. So right here, you're going to notice there's a hole there. Just kind of insert it just like that. And if you have someone else to kind of help you out, it helps so they can hold it and you can go to the other side. Coming to this side, I'm going to go ahead and just pop it up. Once I prop it up, there's another hole right here where it's going to insert on this side. So I'm going to do that now. And then we'll go ahead and continue with the opposite side. So like I said, there's two A's. So you want to do the same steps to both A's. Now that you have it in this step here, now you can kind of start forming it. So the reason I said to leave these loose, because you don't know where they're going to sit exactly. So just like that should sit right over and once you start forming it you're going to notice there's clips that go all around it all you do is clip these bad boys in and that just kind of secures the poles there's one there one here and there's two more on that side which i'll get really quick once i got those clips now i'm going to go ahead and start bringing this bad boy up you want to get them even on that side and this side so Make sure you have that nice and even. It'll make things a lot easier. Side right here, you're going to have another one of those slots, just like we did with A. So you'll go ahead and put the pole right in that. All right, you guys. So now that we have it all set up, as you could tell, it is pretty easy to set up. It does take a couple minutes. So stay tuned for the pros and cons on this bad boy. But if you check it out, compared to like the last tent that I had for my Tacoma, this thing beats it by far. Like you can tell how tall it is. I'll show you guys from the inside right now. But you can tell how tall this thing is. Coming around this way, this is what I was talking about. This is the favorite feature that I, it has. It has the actual bottom to it. So this makes it like a lot more sealed than other ones. So as you can tell, you're not sleeping on the actual bed. So little animals probably won't get in. So it looks really good, has windows and everything. Let me go ahead and uh, just jump right into this and I'll show you guys its features and we'll let you know if it's worth it or not. All right, you guys, so now that we have it all set up, I showed you guys kind of on the outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and walk inside my new house. I'm just kidding, but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys on the inside. So of course, right here on the tailgate is gonna be your actual uh, opening where you get in and out. And then, as you notice right here, there is a mesh. That's just gonna be kind of like your window. And then the cool thing about this, you can go ahead and close it. And then it'll be like a solid window. Let's go ahead and roll this up so that way I can bring you inside. So there's this cool little thing right here that actually holds it into place. You just roll up the door, little pin here that you just go ahead and put right through it. And it should just secure it just like that. And then there's one more right here at the top. I'm not gonna touch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys inside and show you guys a little bit. There's a small window and then that one you can open it, but it doesn't open all the way. This is going to be probably a little bit more just to kind of get some breeze. Or if someone's on that side, you could go ahead and grab whatever you have there. On this side, there's another window that you could go ahead and open. 
just like that. And then looking on the opposite side, it's going to have another window. So it gives you two windows. So one, two, there's the door and there's the little breeze. So of course they say this one is waterproof. So we're going to be testing it. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, just kind of throw some water right here at the top and see if it beads off or not. The next thing they say that this is like super windproof, which honestly compared to other tents, this thing is sturdy. Like it's really tight on there. So I feel like it is windproof. So the way we're going to test that is we're going to drive the truck around. We're going to give it some speed. Technically, you're not supposed to drive with these on, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to give it some speed and see how this thing holds up. Right here, I got the water to simulate. It's a freaking 100 plus day, so I don't have, I don't think it's going to rain. Um, so we're just going to test it out with water. Let's see how it, well it beads off. So it does look like it beads right off. Check that out, you guys. It dries up right on the spot. So let me go on the inside and see if it's leaking. So we good in the hood. So I'm, I'm still curious as if when it's a crazy rainy day, if it'll hold up. But I mean, so far it looks like it beads off. It looks like it doesn't come through. Let's go ahead and now do the wind test. So for this next scene, like I was telling you guys, we're gonna be testing out uh, the wind test. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna drive the truck. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie. Never driven in the back of a truck like this. This is probably like uh, not safe. Um, but we want to show you guys the wind test on this, so. Oh my god. Alright. Huh. So not crazy fast, but looking at the poles, it looks like everything's holding up. So, that way you guys can see we are driving. It's not a joke. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little quick test run and see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the burnout. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I mean, it's not shaking at all. Like, there's nothing going wrong here. Oh my God, besides me flying everywhere, but. Oh! Wow. <laughs> all right, so I hope that uh, helps you guys out with the wind test. Um, it didn't shake at all. So in my book, I think it passes. So let's go ahead and uh, just give you guys our thoughts on this thing, see if it's worth it. So if you guys do end up wanting to buy it, just remember, description box below. Let's get to the pros and cons. So now that I'm sweating like crazy, I got rolled around in the truck. Uh, we tested through water on it, see if it would leak inside of me. Um, now we're at the pros and cons section of this video. So I hope you guys did stay until here. So let's go ahead and now just get to it. All right, you guys, so first things first, this is of course gonna be 100% my opinion. Someone out there might have something different. But as far as the pros, let's go ahead and touch on that. So the pros on this thing that I can think of, I might be missing some, but the pros on it, I would say it does come with a floor. So that way it kind of keeps the bugs out. It keeps the weather a little bit more out. It's just, it's a nice little thing to have versus like my old tent that I used to have on the Tacoma, like I stated. That one didn't have this interior section, which kind of sucked because when it did get super cold, the air would come in and once in a while I'd have ants coming in. So that was kind of a big no-no. But on this one, it's actually nicely sealed. So that kind of gives me the peace of mind that it's gonna be you know, comfortable and I'm not gonna have to worry about insects crawling all over me over the night. Another cool thing that I can state on the Pro is it does have uh, nice ventilated windows on each side. And then of course the one right here, which is the biggest for the door. And then you have a little baby one that's back there, which is nice but I don't get the point of it because it has a small zipper. So I don't get the point of that, but it's nice that it's there. Another pro is it does have little pockets. And since this is a two person tent, it's nice to see that it has pockets on both sides. That way you guys aren't fighting to kind of put your stuff in there. You can put your shoes in there, your phone, your wallet, your uh, whatever you carry, I don't know. So it's nice that it has that. Another big thing that I see here is it's actually really tall and it goes past the tailgate. So if you guys are tall, maybe like six foot or something, uh, this should be perfect for you guys. And then standing up, let me go ahead and stand up. I'm not tall, but I am about 5'5". Five five, and I'd say this is about exactly 5'5", five five, the section right in the middle, just so you guys get an idea. Another thing I can state, it's nice that it's waterproof. So that way, if it is raining, you're not gonna get soaked. Now, as far as hard rain, I'm not sure. Another pro I could say is this thing is actually built 
like really really sturdy we went i want to say about 20 to 40 miles per hour roughly around there um and it didn't fall you guys saw me kind of shaking around of course because because the road's a little bad but I mean, this thing did not fall off. It did not twerk. It did not nothing. It's literally stayed in its position. The last pro that I can think of, the price. So the price on this bad boy right here, it's about 160, 160 to $170. If you check it out on Amazon, description box below, you guys will see. So you're getting a pretty quality tent. It may not have the brand that you want, but it's a pretty quality tent and it looks good, good size, and it has a lot of pros on it with the price being one of them. So now for the cons. So of course, every good product always has its cons no matter how good it is. So I'm not hating on this company or anything, but let me give you the cons. So first thing I noticed up here, like I was telling you guys, even in the pro, I'm not sure what this is for. It's like, if you see my hand, I mean, my hand's not freaking huge and it barely fits in there. And then down at the bottom, it's literally open. So if you wanted to close this, I don't think you can. So, I mean, it's nice because you are going to get a fresh breeze. You don't want to kill yourself, of course. But say it's freezing cold and you do want to close that, you're not going to be able to. You can only close this thing, which I'm not even sure what it's for. If you guys know, comment it down below. The next con that I can see here, I know I was saying it's a pro having this bottom section, but the con on it, I don't know how well this material is going to hold up over time. It does feel stronger than my last tent. I can tell you guys that, but shuffling this around on a truck with maybe rocks and dirt. I'm not sure it's gonna hold up in the long run. And not only that, this truck has a bed liner, so the, it's gonna be rough even if we clean it off. I'm not sure how long this is gonna hold up, but it's nice that it's there. Next, a con that I can say, I don't think this tent is actually available for the Tacomas, meaning this is probably only for the big boy trucks, kind of like the Nissan Titan, which we're working with today, or the F-150s, or you know Silverados it's I think meant for like Tundras stuff like that any other big size truck this tent will be perfect for you guys as far as for us that own the little Tacomas I'm not sure if they've made the size on it I've tried researching and seeing if they have it for the smaller trucks I may be wrong check out their website but I didn't see anything smaller that's why I'm here on the Titan today versus my Tacoma and of course I have a rooftop tent so I don't know how that would work that's something else that I can think of Another thing that is kind of a con, at least in my opinion, looking towards the top, on most tents like this, they have an opening up there for a fresh breeze and they have a windscreen, or I should say kind of like a, a tarp that goes over so the wind can kind of tunnel in. This doesn't have that. So on a hot day, I would kind of want that just so the fresh breeze comes in a little bit more. And this one doesn't have it. It does have a cool little hanging thing where you can kind of hang your uh, lantern at night. So that's nice of them to offer that. I didn't. I barely saw that, I didn't even know it had it. I kind of wish it had the window up there. So yeah, I mean, if you guys like this tent, it's in the description box below. As I had said, I mean, it's, it's built pretty good overall. Like I would recommend it and the price, you can't beat it. So if you guys do want to kind of overland on a budget, this is the way to go. So if you guys did like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and rest now because I'm sweating like crazy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Feel free to subscribe